Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Crock-Pot Electric Lunchbox. I bought this for $39 off of Amazon. The color is the new blush pink. I was hoping it might be a little more pink. It just quite doesn't look like the one in the picture. Okay, so this Crock-Pot is very well designed. So we wrap the cord around the bottom. We can store it. When we get to the um, our office, we plug it in right here. It's got a nice carrying handle. So we're going to open it up by this. We turn this about a quarter turn. This whole container comes out. There's your heating element. We got a vent tube. So when we get to work and after it's done cooking, we open the vent tube. But let's open this up. You got to turn this. And there's where we're going to put our food. 20 ounces is, is the maximum it holds. So it says it's 120 volts, 60 hertz, 50 watts. So the pan has this pin. We got to make sure that we put this pan over this pin. That's called the anti-rotation pin. It's not like a, it's not a safety micro switch or nothing. You just got to put it there. And again, we screw this on. It does have threads and an O-ring. So this pan and this are dishwasher safe. So you're going to put your ingredients in. Make sure you screw this on nice and tight. That way it's leak proof. So with this vent tube down, and the, you don't have to put this cover on, but this cover's nice to help kind of keep everything installed. And then it is leak proof. So you can take this and move it around. Okay, so this is designed for, again, stuff that's already cooked. I got some leftover vegetable soup that we had. I've got it in here. So let's put the lid on. Again, you don't want to get it above that max line. Then we're going to put this on. So now you can take this to work like this. Once you get to work, you're going to simply unwrap the, the cord. And so I can unwrap the cord. I'm going to plug it in right here. So I like that it has a nice long cord. This cord is 40 inches long. Okay, so plug it in as soon as you get to work because it takes about three hours for it to heat up that uh, food inside there, depending on how thick it is or how watery it is, but it does take about two to three hours to heat it up. Now you can, if it does, it, you can leave it on a little bit longer. I have gone up to four hours and it tastes just fine. Some of the water, it isn't quite as watery the longer you let it sit in there. But the entire time that it's plugged in, that light will be on to let you know that it's got power. So there's no on off switch or anything. You just plug it in, it's got power, let it sit. Okay, so this has been cooking for about two hours. So let's open it up. Now it does get a little hot around it, nothing too terribly hot. Now it's very important that you open this steam vent. It will kind of spit at you just a little bit, but make sure you open that up. Now we're gonna unscrew this. Now this lid can be just a little bit hot, but that again, two hours, that was some soup and it is right at 160. So that's a very hot soup right now. Now that soup was in the refrigerator, so it was already cold. And the nice thing about it is, you know, unplug it. Now I've got myself a little serving container and I can eat it right out of here. So this looks like a really delicious hot meal. Now the nice thing about this is, so say you're getting close to it being done, you can take the lid and everything off. It, it still will heat up. It doesn't turn off when you take this lid off or the other lid. It still works, it just won't heat up as fast. So this is just a really nice food warmer. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.